Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a great Saturday. Pastor Zach here, and just wanted to come to you really quickly and give you just a little update about tomorrow. I'm so excited about being back together. And it feels like it's been forever. It's been about two weeks now since we had our Christmas at home live stream and our New Year's Day live stream. Um, but man, tomorrow we are excited to be back together once again. And I hope that you're making plans to be here as we kind of kick off the new year together as a church family. Um, man, we enjoyed a great time away in North Carolina being with family and friends through the holidays. Thank you for letting us get away. It really means a lot to me and Amber and our family. Uh, but we're so excited to be back. And I mean that 2023 is going to be the best year on record at Haven Baptist Church. I believe that by faith. God is in control. He's still building his church and the gates of hell won't prevail against the church. I believe that and I'm sure you do as well. But I am so excited about our brand new year here at Haven. Uh, we've been here today just cleaning and getting things ready for tomorrow. I'm excited for a wonderful day. I hope to see you here tomorrow. We'll have our kids ministry at 10 o'clock. Of course, we'll have teens as well. Our refuge teens will be meeting uh, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. All of our kids Haven will be meeting at 10 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we'll have our worship gathering tomorrow. And we've got a great day planned tomorrow. We've got some wonderful music planned for you. Our worship team will be leading in some great songs like Living Hope and The House of the Lord. And then we're going to sing Christ Be Magnified. And so that's going to be awesome. And then uh, tomorrow, I'm excited about the message that I'm going to be preaching tomorrow morning. I had planned to be in the book of Hebrews, um, but the Lord just kept... Um, redirected my heart and uh, really just decided today uh, that the Lord wants us to preach out of Nehemiah. If you remember, we preached a series of messages a few weeks ago on core values, and we made it through four out of the five core values, but there's one core value that we did not get to. And uh, with Christmas and all of that, it kind of got forced out. And I think that was on purpose. In fact, I know it was. God has a perfect plan. And I believe he wanted us to save that message for tomorrow. And the Lord began to just minister to my heart this morning and throughout the day today about the need to preach from Nehemiah chapter 10, verses 32 through 39. Go read those verses tonight before you go to bed. And tomorrow, we're going to cover the fifth core value of our church, which is to give generously and to invest in the ministry and the mission of our church. And so we're going to look at that story in Nehemiah chapter 10, and we're going to learn from the, the wonderful example of the children of Israel during that season of revival that we've studied about there in Nehemiah. So I'm excited about tomorrow. Uh, read through that passage, Nehemiah chapter 10, verses 32 through 39, and notice the last phrase of that section of that, of, of that section of scripture. It says, we will not forsake the house of our God. What a great New Year's resolution. And so we're going to cover that tomorrow and it's going to be powerful. I'm excited about preaching tomorrow from that passage. And so I hope that you'll make plans to be here at Haven. Come on, let's get together tomorrow. I know it's been a little while. It's been a a, a season that we've been busy and, and with family and friends and all of that. But let's get back together tomorrow morning here at the church. And I've got a wonderful message I'm going to be bringing to you from the Word of God. And we got some great music planned. We've got a great time planned for our young people. And so it's just going to be a great day. Come with a smile on your face. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, if you if you say, you know what? Right now, I don't have anything to smile about. Come with a frown on your face. Um, this is not a place where you have to have a smile on your face to attend. Um, but I hope that uh, you'll be able to come here and enjoy the fellowship of God's people, the music, the scriptures that'll be read, the message that'll be preached. Um, all of that, I believe, will help you to maybe uh, encourage your heart. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I know we live in difficult times, but God is still good. He's on his throne and uh, he's, he's still building his church. I'm excited to be a part of the local church. I hope that you are as well. And I hope that you'll come tomorrow just with a uh, with a uh, expectation, with a sense of expectation, believing that God's going to do a mighty work in our hearts. Would you join me tomorrow? We'll have a seat saved just for you in our auditorium. We've got plenty of room and we'd love to have you. Maybe you're watching this video and you're not attending church anywhere and you're in our area. Come join us. We'd love to have you. We're right here at 25864 Tournament Road, Units J and K. And we'll love to, uh, love to have you here at Haven Baptist Church. Hey, I hope you all have a wonderful night and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. 
I look forward to a wonderful day in the house of the Lord tomorrow. God bless you guys. Hope you have a great night.